you still have time it's october the first still got time to get that fall garden in we're gonna go through here and show you everything we got going on in our garden so far this year maybe you'll see something that you want to plant but we've just been going through a total garden makeover as you can kind of see all the different raised beds that we're putting in we've been going to the metal raised beds and getting out of the wood the wood served their purpose guys don't get me wrong they lasted for four almost five years but we wanted to do a lot of updates so we're going with these these different type beds so we're going to go through and just kind of give you a quick garden tour and this bed here we are heavy in turnip greens you'll see that we have turnip greens all over the place and in one of our beds back here we have the cabbage and the japanese flowering kale and in this bed right here we have our lettuce i'll give you a little bit First, here's our turnip greens we've been picking on those here's our cabbage and flowering kale if you've never grew cabbage or lettuce in the fall and you let the frost set on them boy it just makes them taste so much better and here we have our cabbage and you'll see these these right here these are the flowering japanese flowering kale this is the first year i've grown these but they have a yellow and purple color to them and i wanted those i'm, I'm not a kale fan i don't like kale um i don't know maybe this will taste better than what i've tried but i wanted this in here for the color i've still got about 30 or 40 of them that we started from seed i'm gonna put throughout the landscape but we're just putting them in every bed that we can come across and on this bed and the nasturtum in it and you'll see it's still one of the raised beds i have the metal bed to replace it but i just can't bring myself to tear all this stuff out because this is really loaded up with the blooms and i like the marigolds better than i do the moms because i can enjoy them in late spring all summer long and they go out about the same time that a mom does and in these beds here behind me we've got our lettuce this is a pablo lettuce um first year we're growing it then we just have our um regular lettuce that you know cut and come again just in it and then we have three more beds of the turnip greens and, and in this we have our cherry bell radish um they grow very well in the fall and in here we have two more rows of turnip greens but these turnip greens has the mustard mixed in with a curly leaf mustard mixed in with it um, you'll have the japanese eggplants and then the black beauty eggplants are still still going real good i'm guessing this is the first year that i've grew eggplants and they have grown very well even through the drought they've done real good uh, one thing that uh, i imagine they will keep growing right up until the frost gets us um but this pablo lettuce is a um iceberg type lettuce we're giving it a try this year um supposed to have a uh gets good reviews on the taste uh, we really like an iceberg lettuce so we're just giving it a try and in these beds you can see we still got turnip greens now we are turnip green fans we eat a lot of them but i use turnip greens as a cover crop so that the beds are not exposed uh, throughout the winter but i will also use that as my greens for my compost as we go through the winter because uh, we have plenty of the brown so i will use a lot of the turnip greens in as as my greens for my compost and this bed here we still have some more of the uh, pablo lettuce and then we have another bed right here of uh, turnip greens and then this bed right here is full nothing but the japanese fl flowering kale um i hope it tastes good but i do know that it's going to look pretty 
All right, this bed here, we have our spinach, and it's just now starting to germinate and come up. And then we have uh, another type of lettuce. And then this, we have our um, Swiss choy, which is ruby. Um, I've never ate this, uh, but the main thing I was going with this is the color, try to give the garden color throughout the winter. All right, in this, this is a two by eight bed. What we did here is down the center on the cattle panel right here, we planted our uh, sugar snout peas. Uh, they do real good in the fall. We got the flower and kale on the end and on each side of the bed, on this side, we planted our uh, garlic. <clears throat> so. That is how you maximize a bed because you can put a lot of stuff in a small spot. So that's what we did. And this will, the peas will have plenty of room to come up the cattle panel. And the garlic will be here just fine. And the kale can grow up and lay over the edge of the bed. And staying with that same thing, we have our sugar snap peas that are starting to come up. It's just going to come up the cattle panel. We have our flowering kale on the end, and then we just come down here to the side with the lettuce just to fill the spot. And same thing as the other bed, this will, the peas will have plenty of room to come up. The cabbage can grow and come over. Everything has plenty of room, so maximize your space. I like the color of that. I guess I went with, I wanted color in the garden this year. And, and then this is the last bed, which hasn't germinated yet. We have arugula and parsley. And normally a part start the uh, parsley from seed. <clears throat> but I had some that was left from back in the spring. And so I decided to put it here and see what it does. Uh, we're heavy in lettuce this year, lettuce and cabbage. Um, but... Like I say, if you've never had your brassicas after a frost to set on them, it's just sit just like it sets the sugar. It's just such a much better taste on it. And in this last on our tomatoes, we will pick those right up until frost. Uh, usually, we'll have a whole lot of green tomatoes. Uh, but that's our goal each year is to try to make sure that we can pick tomatoes right up till frost. And if you look at this plant right here, this is our uh, basil, so Italian leaf basil. These things grow huge and they uh, have big stalks on them. So we have been picking and drying the basil as we went around this year. And there's basil all through the tomatoes because it helps keep the bugs off. So if you've never grew basil, grow it. A lot of this stuff that we have here in the garden was still hanging on from summer, but we'll keep continue to make until frost gets them. But all these raised beds is everything we've been doing through our total garden makeover here is adding these raised beds. And when you get the soil right on these beds, it's unmatched to what the, the plants will do. Uh, these cabbage that's right over here, that's in this bed right here, this bed right here against the fence, they have absolutely jumped since we put them in it. So. Uh, so far, we've been able to really grow a lot of stuff in these raised beds. So if you're not a raised bed gardener, uh, add you a couple just to start and see if you like them. Uh, I had never really had raised beds up until, <clears throat> and this is our fourth year. If you'll notice, this whole garden is covered in wood chips because I battled modeling clay couldn't grow anything and I put the synthetic fertilizer to it and still couldn't grow anything. So when I ran across the video of wood chip gardening and I did my research to see what was actually the idea behind it, <clears throat> I covered this entire garden with cardboard and approximately two foot of wood chips four years ago. Over here now, where we have our mustard and our turnip green mixture through here um, I still have a lot for my tomatoes and okra and a lot of that stuff are still in the earth bed 
But what I did is went back and pulled the wood chips back and I started adding good compost to them. And guys, this stuff right here has absolutely outperformed. Uh, I have not used synthetic fertilizer in this garden in probably three years now. So wood chip gardening does work. Uh, now, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have any weeds because you will. But the weeds is very easy to pull out. I come through here about maybe a total of an hour uh, the entire uh, month. And I come through and just pull the weeds and stuff out. So it's not that big a deal uh, to keep get rid of the weeds. But if you want to improve your soil, look into wood chip gardening. Well, that's just a quick fall garden tour. Uh, we are just about planted out for the fall. I have a few more things that uh, to plant. Uh, but I've got to let some of this other stuff uh, get done and... So I'll have somewhere to put it. If not, like the, any of the cabbage or the flowering kale, I just put it in the landscape. It doesn't actually have to be in your garden uh, where you grow all your vegetables. Stick them in your landscape. Stick them in your flower bed. At least you'll have something growing in it. Um, but there you go. It's just a quick garden tour to what we have going on this fall. And guys, if you grow it, you know it.